Uh, our topic, I believe, this evening is individual defense. And uh, those of you who watch some of our practice, I'm glad we can play pretty good defense because I'm not sure I would want to play to anybody offensively tonight. And that's going to happen. There are some nights when the ball at any level, where the Blazers talking about last night, they did not shoot. Doesn't make any difference what, what the level is. There are some nights when the ball will not go in the basket. And that's why half the game is defense. And I know uh, um, that, that your time is very limited. You don't have very much gym space. You don't have very much practice time. Uh, but, but I think that more than ever before, youth coaches are more and more essential, not only to the game of basketball, but to the game of life. Uh, you're to be congratulated before the season starts for volunteering your time to spend time with youth. There's, there's no greater need right now than for us to give our time uh, to young people. And it just happens that our vehicle is that thing called the basketball. Um, and, and you have to kind of sometimes get the feel. Um, last night was our best practice of the year. Our first hour, uh, I, it, it was unbelievable. Um, I could hardly wait till uh, some of this got over tonight because we weren't real sharp. But then, and that's sometimes what happens. Uh, the year we won the national championship in the national championship game, in the first half, we shot 23%. Okay? Fortunately, we played tremendous defense. And defense is an individual thing, and it's a team thing. And we're going to spend uh, some time this, this evening with these young gents beginning to work on individual defense, on starting from stance and how the defense is broken down so that all, every member of the team guards the ball because that's that's what that's what team defense is is about guarding the ball so if we come out guys I'd like for you to come out here and stand we need somebody right there we don't need the balls yet okay you know and that's the other thing about we start talking about defense you know everybody wants to get the ball and either dribble it or shoot it okay when they were out here warming up I didn't see many of them down here working on their defensive moves okay so that's part of our job as a coach is to sell defense because it's half the game Okay, so we need somebody right there. We need somebody right here. Austin, you're right here. Gage, you're right here. You're going to face this way. Uh, Tyler, you're right here. Okay, Aaron, you're going to go right there. Evan, you're going to come right here. Sean, Sean you're going to go right there. Huh? Scott. Scott's going to come right here. Okay, you're all kind of right here. Okay. You're going to come, Sean, you're going to come right here. Okay, now, in, in order to play the game of basketball, I want you to be comfortable, okay? Right now, just get comfortable, okay? How are you going to be comfortable, okay? And it's very important, whatever we do, offensively or defensively, uh, the most important part of basketball, maybe other than quickness, might be body balance. Especially with young people, it's, it's teaching them to play under control because they want to race up and down with the basketball and without the basketball. So a big thing is learning for them to, to teach them how to play on balance. Okay, I want all of you to get your feet at shoulder width. Okay, shoulder width. Okay, I can't play the game of basketball like this. That makes me too slow. I can't play the game of basketball with my feet too close together because that puts me off balance. So right away, we want our feet at shoulder width, okay? Very good, okay? And then, in order to be a player in any sport, an athletic position, we need to have our knees bent, okay? Whether I get ready to field the ground ball and sh as a shortstop, whether I get ready to spike a ball in volleyball, whether I get ready to kick a ball in soccer, what happens? I play in a flex position, so we need our knees bent, okay? Knees bent. Now, terminology for, for young people. If we say, stay down, get low, they do this. So we have to say, bend your knees, get in a flexed position. Okay? And then we want your back at a slight angle. Okay? Because a lot of times, again, if we start to say defensive play low, young kids want to start to do this. Basketball and athletics is played with your back at a slight angle. Aaron, very nice. Very, very good. Be comfortable. Be comfortable. Be comfortable. Good. Good, okay? 
There you go, Sean. Very good. Get your hands off your knees, though. You can't defend with your hands on your knees. Okay, and then get your hands comfortable. Get your hands up here comfortable. Okay? All right. Stand, uh, stand up. Okay? Now, basketball is a game of quickness. It's a game of reaction. So when I say stance, I want you to get in stance. Okay? Stance! Okay? Where do our hands belong? Okay, very good. All right. Now, depending upon the coach, okay, Rick Patino, one of the great defensive coaches in the country, wants their players to have their hands up here so they can get deflections. There are other coaches that want their hands down. We try to have our players have their hands, and that ideally, that if one hand is ready to dig at the basketball, you're going to dribble the ball. Dribble it, please. Okay, so one hand is always ready that you're going to dribble the ball. Come on back here, hurry up. So that if I'm in state, yeah, now I see right away. So as soon as we turn it competitive, he's going to guard the ball. Okay, so all the time, we tell our players, be comfortable, be quick. Okay, so it, ideally, it's nice to have one hand, you're dribbling right here facing me, one hand ready to dig at the basketball and the other hand up. But more importantly is being down and playing with quick feet. Stance. Good. See, so that right away, see, Aaron's in pretty good, I, it's hard for me, you don't have to push back, okay? He's in very good basketball position, okay? Is this worth your practice time? I think so. Just the first time coming through. What we do all the time, we, and, and we start our practices, uh, uh, everything with defense, because that's important to us. So every practice that we start, okay, you know, our players might come out and warm up, but when we, when we get in our stuff, we play defense to start with. Right now, uh, our defensive average, we're holding teams uh, to 59-7. For this level of basketball, that's pretty good. Our, our shooting early in the season has been up and down. Our defense has been consistent. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is have players that are in stance that are ready to guard the ball. Stance, okay? Now, if, Aaron, if you're gonna guard the ball, that's pretty good defense. That's pretty good position, okay? now. Um, we want you guys to all to come down here. Hurry up, all of, all of you come down here. Aaron, come out here. Okay, and if I'm gonna dribble the ball, I want you to just guard the ball. Guard the ball. Guard the ball, okay? Again, guard the ball. Guard the ball. See what young kids do? They guard the player. Okay, you're gonna dribble. You're going to dribble at me. Okay? It's very important if you're going to play good man-to-man -man defense okay, that you teach young people to guard the basketball. You don't guard the gal or the guy that you're guarding. You guard the ball. So if Aaron has the ball okay, and he's dribbling, I'm not guarding him. Because if I guard him, he automatically has a seam and can beat me. So right away, everything I do, I want to try to guard the ball. If he goes the other way, this way, Okay, you can, yeah. then I'm going to, again, guard the ball. And most young players, in, in the first part of what they're doing, they guard the first move. But it's hard for them to readjust and guard the second move. Because right away, young players want to do what? They want to get up, go ahead and dribble. Okay, they want to get up here and bump and get a foul. Okay, so it's very important, like on offense, it's also very important as a, as a defender to have some space. Okay? So in order for us to be quick with our feet, okay, in order for us to be quick with our feet, we need to make sure that we keep our feet at shoulder width. So what I'm going to have you do, here's a line. There's a line. Austin, you're that part of that line. Now I want you to be, and you guys are going to go next. You're the next part of the line. You're the next part of the line. Ian, you're right there. Sean, you're right there. Tyler, right? Tyler, you're right there. You're right there. Okay, now you're going to be facing this way. And I'm going to say stance. I want just the first two guys to go. Okay, and you're going to come out and get in stance. Okay, and then when I say go, you're going, to, you're going to move your feet as fast as you can till you get to the ball. Okay, and then you can relax, and then the next two I'll tell to come. All right? Stance. No, 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 no. Okay, and again, we have to be very concise with our explanation. I'm going to say stance. Okay, and then you, when, I, when I say go, then you're going to move your feet. Okay, stance. You have to look 
mean when you're playing defense. Okay? It's a job. Okay? Stance. Go. Okay, not bad. Stance. Go. Okay? Stance. Next guy's here. Stance. Go. Stance. Go. Pretty good. Now, if you had seen the beginning of our practice today, okay, and we've done this from the first day of practice. Okay, our players, after we do our agilities to warm up, then our players come out and they get in stance and we go at this speed. At that speed. Okay, to emphasize it's very important, okay, as a defender, not to bring my feet together. We say defensive slide. It's not defensive slide. Okay, so this time when you guys go, we want you to try to keep your feet at shoulder width. You're going to go slower. We don't want you to bring your feet all the way together. Okay, now this is not easy. It looks very, very simple. Okay, so now you come in stance. You're going to go half speed. Half speed. Okay, move your feet. Go. Good. Good. Now bring your feet all the way together. And again, the emphasis is on keeping your feet at shoulder width. Okay, now, th this is tough. You say, how much practice time am I going to spend on this? Okay, five minutes. The first time to teach it takes longer. But then you can use this as a warm-up. And this is, th this, if you could do them this service, because you're going to get them in a basketball defensive position. And once they have that, they're going to have it from this age to that age. It's going to be amazing. Because there are places whether it be on their middle school team, whether it be on their high school team, whether it be on their college team, there are places for defenders in the game of basketball today. We have right now, uh, our three outside perimeter guys are outstanding. They are outstanding. Okay, as good for our level as I think there are. So one of the reasons we've all, we're off to a decent start. Okay? So defense can be the consistent thing. All right, stance. Go. Slow. Much better. Okay. Now, in our, and this is our, we have our college guys. Go at that speed. Okay. Just to get the feel of that, of what it's like to play with their feet at shoulder width. And then pretty soon they'll get quicker at it. Stance. Go. Good. Good. Okay. Now, okay. And sometimes that happens. Okay, as they start bouncing. It's not, it's not slide, and it's really, if you could really take advantage, guys, if you do this, if you push off with this foot, push, push, okay? Try that, stance, go, slow, 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 good, good, okay, now, if you have somebody that's doing it right, it's almost perfect, don't bring your feet together. Keep going, good, all right, come on back. Now, you guys watch this. It is Scott. Scott. Watch Scott's form. Now, what are you guarding? The basketball. Good. You guard the ball. You're not guarding the floor. The floor is going to be there. Okay? You don't need to look, at, look up. Okay? Slow down. Hands present yourself. Good. Go. Don't bring your feet quite so far close together. Try to keep your feet apart. Keep going. Good. Good. Get those arms out. Okay? So that, that's taking a minute. Okay? That's taking a minute. If you allow yourself as a warm-up drill every day, you're going to do this defensive slide three minutes. Okay? By the end of the season, they're going to have a much better feel of that. Okay? Next two guys. Stance. Go. Slow. Push off. Push. 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 Okay? Now, Aaron, it's not. You want to stay down. You want to be quick. Okay? Quick. Ready? Go. Stance. Go. Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Come here, my man. Gage, right? All right. All right. Stance. Go. Good. Okay. Much better. He's got it already. But he's still a little bit high. We want to stay down here. We want to stay down. See, we want to seal up the ball. Yes, I like that. Okay. Defensive player, he's over here waiting in line and he's in stance. Okay. He might become a Bearcat Hooper. Stance. Go. Good. Quick feet. Evan, quick feet. Sam, have him go. Okay. Stance. Go. Good. Oh, my. Okay. How much improvement is that? Is that worth our time at the beginning of practice? I think so. Okay. Does that mean you're going to win more games? No. 
Does that mean that they're going to become better defensive players from, okay, next week until March? Yes. Have you set the tone and built them into what they now can advance to? Yes. Okay, now, now we want you to be down, down in stance. We're starting to have to go to work. Oh, yes. Now, feet shoulder width. Good. Are you, get comfortable. Okay, now we're going to get aggressive. This time when you go, I'm going to come out, I'm going to go stance. Okay, and now you're going to be as fast as you can get across the other side of the floor. First two guys, stance. Yeah, it's all right. We love that eagerness. Stance. No, wait, wait, wait. But already, look what has happened to his hands. Look what has happened to his hands. His hands suddenly are out here. Okay, in a matter of seven minutes, he's changed his defense. He's out here. Okay, he's starting to use his leverage. Stance. Go. Quick feet. Quick feet. Very nice. Stance. Go. Quick feet. Quick feet. Okay, now, remember, we're, we're always guarding what? The ball. The ball. Stance. Evan, you have to have really quick feet this time. Okay, go. Good, good, very nice. Okay, and there's going to be different levels of maturation within your own team. There's different levels of maturation. Uh, tonight we had 11 guys here. We also have uh, nine of our younger players are playing in a JV game down at Umpqua, Umpqua Community College in Roseburg. Okay, we have a 6'9 guy that last year as a senior in high school stumbled around. He's becoming a player. A year from now, we think he's going to be pretty good. Okay? So there's going to be players on your team that aren't at the same maturation process. Right now, Evan's a little slower. Okay? So we need to, for him to recognize that he needs to push his feet a little bit harder. Okay? Because it's not, it, right now, he's not as quick as somebody else. Okay? We can't gauge who out of this group is going to become the best player when they're a freshman or senior in high school. Can't do it. You know, that's like uh, in some sports they want kids to specialize in their ninth grade of high school. Who do, who do we say who the best athletes are, what their best sport is? We don't know. Okay? All this takes time. Okay? It's a process. Stance. Go. Quick feet. Quick feet. Yes. Very nice. Come again, my man, Tyler. Okay? Now you're going to go over and back. Quick feet. Okay? Over the ball and back. Ready? Go. Good. 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 Yes. Pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, now we're going to take the two guys that are out there, and when I say stance, I'm going to point, okay? I'm going to point. You guys are going to go that way, and if I point, you're going to come back quick this way, and then you're going to come point, point and go back the other way. Okay, quick feet. Stance. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Stay down, this is not a run. Good, stay down. Go, okay, next two, stand. Good, going that way, good. Next two, stand. Good, nice. Oh my, good job. Good, good job. Stand, go. Very nice, guys. Good job. Come here, my man. First name again? Scott. Okay, Scott. Now I'm, I'm going to work you over. Okay? Stance. Quick feet. Quicker feet. Quicker feet. Quicker feet. Quicker feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. I'm still pointing this way. Quick feet. Okay, very nice. That's outstanding. Okay, so if you break, if you break it down to its simplest terms, okay, so our players in a the game, they'll hear from, from us from the bench, stance. So if they're on the ball, there's a certain stance. If they're denying somebody, there's a certain stance. If they're away from the ball, there's a certain stance. Okay, but, but you cannot guard the basketball without being in stance. Okay, I want you to get back in your original lines. Get back how you were when we first lined up. We're, no, we're spread out over here. We're spread out. We're spread out. We're spread out. Where were you? Okay. Now I want you 
to quickly review in your mind right now, okay? I want you to quickly review in your mind. When I say stance, our feet are shoulder width, our knees are bent, okay? Our back is this slight angle. Sean, you don't have to be in stance yet. That's pretty good. I'm talking about he's in stance. Okay, always head in the midpoint of your body. We have a freshman player right now um, that's very talented, but he plays with his head out here. And it's amazing for a 19-year-old player how tough that is at our stage to correct. Okay? He's done it for so long. So if you have a player that when they handle the ball, their head's out here, or if they're on defense and their head's out here, try to make that correction now. It's not easy. But at 18, you can imagine how difficult it is to correct. Okay? You're doing a tremendous service of teaching fundamentals. Because that's what the game is about. Um, I had the good fortune, um, as a high school coach, um, to be involved quite extensi extensively with Jack Ramsey. When he was the coach of the Blazers, I was the coach at Lake Ridge High School, and I was uh, the director of his basketball camp. And then uh, he and I were partners in basketball camp. And so I got to spend a lot of uh, time, maybe both after a Blazer game and one of our games, it was amazing how, uh, despite the size of the player or the quickness or strength of the player, when he talked about his point guard, or we talked about our power forward, uh, the game became the same. Okay? The ability level was quite different, but the basic fundamentals of basketball stay the same. It might take them a little longer to learn them, okay? but how, how great it is uh, as a coach to be able to instruct fundamentals uh, from this age on up. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that I admired most with Coach Ramsey was whether it was with um, the Blazers when they world, won the world championship that at that time uh, and maybe forever, they might have been the most fundamental basketball team uh, in the NBA. They might have been the best, quote, team in the NBA. And um, Coach Ramsey came and spoke to, to our um, athletes, in fact, I don't know how we pulled the coup off, he spoke the day after they won the world championship. And he came and he talked to players about practicing. Okay, guys, and I want you to make sure that you hear this, okay? Practice does not pay, make perfect, okay? But perfect practice makes perfect. When you go to work on something, you must do it exactly the right way. When you work on something, it must be like you're doing it in a game, okay? So when we review stance, your feet are shoulder width, your knees are bent, your back's at a slight angle, your head is in the midpoint of your body, okay? And for defensive purposes, we want your hands comfortable so you can ready to guard the ball. Stance! Good. Very nice. Okay? So, so for your, for your fi first five minutes of practice, that's worth the time right there. Okay? Yeah, I know the first day it's not going to take you five. Okay? But each day, if you have, when you come in to warm up, right away, you can put them in three lines and, and, and right away, quick, check their stance. Okay? Put them in the slides and do that. Okay? All right, we're going to come back over here, back here in line. Uh, Aaron, you're on defense first. Okay, I'm going to dribble the ball at you. Okay, and I want you to guard the ball. Okay, and we're going to go from here down here to that ball. Okay, you ready? How do you know I'm not going to shake and bake you? Okay, what are you guarding? Well, then guard the ball. Okay, don't reach. See right away. You tell kids to play tough defense. First thing they do, reach. Okay? Our, our philosophy is guard the ball, contain the ball, make the dribbler make a mistake. Okay? So you're going you're gonna to keep your chest in the middle of the basketball. Okay? Quick feet. Quick feet. Good. That's it. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Good. All right. Come back again. Okay, so if you emphasize to them continually, contain the basketball, chest in the middle of the ball. Okay, now the other thing that starts to happen, Austin, you're going to have the dribble. Okay, the other thing that's going to start to happen is when they dribble, Austin, you're dribbling. 
Okay, right away they start to get in here with their body in close. As a defender, it's very important to emphasize to them space. Okay, so that you're going to dribble a ball. Here's your, here's your sideline right here. Okay, here to there. Okay, so right away you want them to keep their chest in the middle of the ball, but try to have a little bit of space because if they get in here too tight, that ball's, ball's going to bowl right by them. And that's full court, that's half court. Okay, their job is to contain the ball. Get back there. Okay, so as they guard the ball, okay, right away they have that spacing. Okay, they're, guard, they're putting their chest in the middle of basketball. Okay, Austin, you're the dribbler. Aaron, you're the defender. Now, you really have to work right now. You're not going to reach. Okay, you're going to be tough on the ball. Okay, here we go. Play. Good. Space, space, space. Good. Good. Very nice. Good job. Keep dribbling. You got to go all the way to the hash mark. Very nice. Okay. We got uh, defense and we have offense. That's all right. That's good right there. You guys are going to this hash mark. Offense. Okay. What are you guarding? All right. Get down the stance. Good. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Good. Very nice. Quick feet. Good. All right. That's good. See, we're going right to here. We're coming right to here. Here we go. Next two, we got uh, Gage, you're on offense, and Scott. Scott's on defense. Okay, Scott, I've been pr promoting your defense now. Now it's showtime. You've got to get after it. Here we go. Stance. Good. Very nice. Good. Okay. Now, wait a minute. You've got a turnover. You've got the ball. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? Good. Gage, yeah, that's pretty good defense. Hold that. That's good. Good. Here we go. Evan, you're on offense. Stance. What are you guarding? Sean, what are you guarding? Good. Okay. Now. If, if the offense has to just back up, okay, that's really a pretty good defense. Okay, because he's done his job. Contain the ball. Contain the ball. We're going to go again. Same offense, same defense. Okay, now here, here's our sideline. Right there to right here. Okay, now, Aaron, what are the things you need to tell yourself right now? Guys, Gage, listen up. Okay? Okay. Okay. Right? Very good. And guard the ball. Guard the ball. Okay, now, when, you, when, we did, when we did those other drills, when we did this, when we did form stuff, okay, it was very important, okay, there's a, t a time when the game changes. Okay, when we did this form stuff, you're thinking about those things. When we first check stance, you're checking those things. Right now, what's your number one thought? What's your number one thought right now? What's the most important thing you have to do right now as a defender? Guard the ball. Very good. There becomes a time when you go from technique of doing things the right way till you just go play. This is what is happening in the game right now, okay? Is everybody's playing games, playing games, playing games. I had a... Uh, AAU coach said that uh, last year they played 86 games. So that's great. How many times do you practice? Um, once every other week. Players don't get better in games. They do the same things. In practice, you get, you get to extend your game a little bit. You get to widen your horizons. Okay? So th there is a time, guys, there is a time to work on technique of doing it the right way. Right now, it is guard the ball. That's your only one, number one thought. I need to contain the ball. Okay, now I need to make sure all of you guys, you want to have a little bit of space. Okay, if you get in too close to the ball, the ball is going to beat you. Okay, here we go. Stance. Good, good. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Good. Quick feet. Good. Yes. Excellent. Good. That's the way to take charge. Okay, come on back again. Come on back. Same two guys again. 
How many times did you dribble with your left hand? Okay. Okay. So if he can't go left, what are you going to do? Stay to the right. You stay even a little bit more to the right. Try to get him to come back this way. But you're always guarding the ball. All right. Now guard it hard. Here we go. Play. Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Go take it away. Hold up. Okay. Now, here's what happens with young players. Come on back. Aaron now is very good. Very, very good. Okay. The first time he guarded it perfectly to the right. There was almost a slight little th yeah, indication that you were going to go left. Okay, and then he came back to the right again, and you were guarding his body. Okay, and this happens a lot. This happens in games where a player, this happens to us at our level. Stance, quick feet, space. Don't let the ball beat you. Get away. Okay, short terms. I don't have to have a lengthy thing. And it's the same with our college players. Same terminology. Stance. Get away. Quick feet. So th that's what they're doing right then. Guys, hang on to the ball, please. Next two. Ball, 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 ball. Here we go. Who's in stance? Who's up? Good. Let him put it on the floor. Play. Stance. Good. Get there. Get there. Nice. Very nice. Good. Who's next? Ball, please. Yep. Hold on to it. Good. Uh, 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 uh. Come on back. Guard him. Then how can he go? Hold the balls. Okay. And again, that happens. Kids have the ball. What are they going to do? You're trying to talk. Bounce the ball. Okay. Hang on to the ball. Hang on to the ball. Okay. Now, if, if you're guarding the ball, okay, you're guarding the ball. Now the dribble went all the way down here. Can that happen if you're guarding the ball? I don't think so. Okay? Get your chest in the middle of the ball. Chest in the middle of the ball. Here we go. Good. Yes. Very nice. Get yes. Good. Very nice. Get there. Okay? A difference. Okay? Right away. As soon as he started guarding the ball, it eliminated the player going with their, their right hand. Okay? I'm still looking for somebody to dribble with their left hand. Okay? Here we go. Evans on offense. Evans on offense. Here we go. Play. Good. Make him dribble left. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Okay? All right. Now, we need um, an offense right here. And we need an offense right here. You have the ball. Aaron, you're on defense there. And Scott, you're on defense here. Okay, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, now, you're going to dribble up. Okay, when I say pass, you're going to pass the ball to Austin. Okay? And when he passes, I want you to react. You can't steal it, but I want you to, when he catches it, you've got to be in stance. For right now, you cannot block. Okay? Back up. Okay, play. Good. Pass. Good. Are we trapping? We're not into traps yet. That's the next session. Okay? Not bad, though, because what do you do? He made a basketball play. The pass, ball, please. The ball went. The ball went. And he got away. Okay? He, he's now guarding the ball. Even though... Even though my player passed the ball, he was still guarding the ball. Very good reaction. Okay? So our thing is ball and man. Okay? So we just say get away. Okay? We say get away to the ball. Okay? So same drill, same thing. Dribble. Pass. Let him have it. Okay? Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Card the man. No. Here's what you did, ball. There, please. Okay, he passed. Okay, and you went, oh, yeah, whoops. Okay, right away, ball's there. Okay, ball goes. You're still in stance. It's just a little bit different. Okay, knees bent, back at a slight angle, guarding the ball. Let's see you do it right. Good. 
Austin, you go, Austin, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you come down here and fire down and come back out and get the ball. Here we go. Good. Go ahead and pass when you want to. Good. Very nice. All right. Just stay like you were when he first passed it. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. No, wait, wait, wait. You're going to hang on to it. Okay, now your guy gets the ball. Okay. All right, good. Now, there was a time in basketball, okay, where the ball was forced to the middle. I'm going to be you for right now, okay? So defenders were taught to have one foot forward, so they forced the ball into the middle. Okay, what happens? Basketball players have become too good when the ball gets right there. Can't happen, okay? Get here, please. There was a time when players were taught to be in a staggered stance so they wouldn't get beat on the baseline. Okay? Players have become too good at blowing right by that and going to the basket. Okay? Come on back. So we try to do to get players of all level okay, is to be in a slight staggered stance. Slight. If I'm like this, I'm too easy to get beat. So right away, I'm in this stance. And now I'm, I'm going to guard the ball hard, hard. Okay? Once you catch it, if you want to go to the basket, you can, you can go to the basket. So when he gets it, you've got to be in stance and guarding top. Okay? Ball's on top. Here we go. Play. Good. Now, wait a minute. Okay? Now, I know you can go that way. I want you to try to catch the ball. So you're going to try to catch the ball down there. So you, once he's open, you can pass him the ball. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. Good, good. Get it to him. Let him have it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay? We never let our player beat us for a back door. If, if Austin caught the ball here or out there, Where's his biggest threat to score? Right there. So it's okay. See, again, players want to start, they want to come out here and steal. Okay, no easy baskets. It's all right if he catches it out there. Okay, all right, ball's on top. Here, start with your dribble. Now you got to get it to him. And for now, you're going to let him catch it. You're going to let him catch it. All right, here we go. Get it to him. Get it to him. Ah! No. Back door. No back door. It's all right if he catches it. Okay, now, that's going to happen. So does that do any good for me to say to him, time after time, no back door? Have we worked on it? No. Okay? So now what's a teaching point? If I'm guarding Austin, okay, here's my guy. But what am I guarding? The, very good. Excellent. You're guarding the ball. So I need to see the ball. It's okay if he catches it out there. It's not okay if he goes back there, okay? Austin, you're gonna work to get open right now, okay? So I'm gonna stay in this kind of stance. See, I'm just gonna continue. Where are you going? You wanna catch it over there, okay? So you wanna try to just kind of work him, okay? To make it hard for him to catch the ball. Okay, I wanna see you do that. I wanna see you do that. Okay, don't pass it right now. Get in the stance. Good, okay? Austin, move him around a little bit. Good, see the ball, see the ball, see the ball. See the ball? Good. Hold it, hold it. Okay, pretty good, but what are you guarding? The ball. Very good, very good. Okay, so now you can take it. You're gonna hold the ball. Okay, and we do this drill a lot. Okay, you're gonna guard him. For right now, it's gonna be me. I'm gonna be the offensive player, Aaron, you're back there in line. I'm the offensive player, you're guarding me. Okay, and you're also guarding? Okay, now see the ball. Get in stance. There you go. See both. There you go. Okay, now you want to try to be in a position. He needs to try to be in a position so he can see both without turning. Okay, now you're guarding me and the ball. Okay, when I move, you move. See the ball. 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 Step slide. Good. See how his footwork has changed? Okay, very nice. See the ball. See the ball. See the ball. See the ball. Okay, see the ball. Very nice. Now, did it do me any good, okay, to holler at him a couple of times, hey, no back door, okay? It becomes communication, it becomes definition, 
Right then, my definition of no back door and his definition were on two different planets because he hadn't experienced that. So we have, a, again, a drill with our players that we're going to defensive slide. Next defender. Next defender. Okay? You're done. Okay? Get that ball in a little closer. Okay? What are you guarding? The ball. Very good. The ball and my man. Okay? Get in the stance. Good. Okay, now as I slide, you slide. Step slide. Step slide. See the ball. Step slide. Step slide. Step slide. Who's the next defender? Who's the next defender? Who wants to be the next defender? Get out of here. Next defender. Hurry. That's good. You need to stand. See the ball. Gage, what are you guarding? The ball. Well, all right. See it. See it. See the ball. See the ball. See the ball. Step slide. Step slide. Okay. We're back into our stance that we worked on to start with. We're back into that stance. Who's the next defender? Come on. Get out of here, Sean. See the ball. What are you guarding? What are you guarding? No. Yes, guard it. Good. Guard it. Nice. And it helps if you can start to get them to get that hand up in the passing lane. Good. Next, I need an offensive play. Offense. Okay, I'm getting too old to do this, Melinda. Okay, so now, before we had our body in the passing lane, we want our hand in the passing lane. Okay, you got to get open. Okay, so my hand is in the passing lane. Thank you, I'm resting. Oh, my hand is in the passing lane. I see the ball. Okay, no back door. No back door. And I'm back into our original stance that we spent the first five minutes working on. And once they have it at age nine, age ten, they have it for a lifetime. Unless they get old and slow like me. Okay? Very good, guys. Who's the next defender? Look at me, not you. Just for that, you're on defense again. Okay? <laughs> Offense. You're guarding him. Oh! Good. You all right? Good. All right. Now, it also takes a while for them to get the feel of this. When you were right here, okay, you don't want to have to look this way. What's going on over there? Okay? You want to be able to look right here. Okay? So what ideally, when you guys are in your step slide. Austin, the game's right here. Okay. When when you guys are in your step slide. It's the same as we did the drill before. Step slide, okay? And you have to stay down. And you're gonna look at the ball this way. Get right even with me. Okay, get this hand right there. Okay, now see the ball. No? Can you see your guy? Yeah. Okay, very, can you see your guy? Oh. Can you see the ball? Yeah. Okay, now stay in that stance. Okay, stay in that stance. If, if Gage takes me back door, Okay, if Gage takes me back door, he goes back door, then good. Keep on going. Very good. And get tight to him. Okay, good. Very nice. Okay, now, there used to be a time on a back door cut. I've got him defending now. There used to be a time on a back door cut where we taught players to go like this. Not a good technique anymore. If my player goes back door on me, I'm going to turn and be a defensive back. I'm just going to be a defensive back. There's a one little place in there where I'm going to turn and be ready to knock the ball away. Okay? New offense and defense. Who admitted, Aaron, you're on defense? Yes, you're on offense. Here we go. Now I want you dribbling the ball, ready to pass. We're not going to pass right yet. Aaron, you're on defense. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guarding? Okay. See? Now, see the difference? That, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty good. Okay? The difference that it makes Right away, the natural tendency for a young player is to come out and guard their man. Okay, as soon as I said, as soon as he said, guard the ball, okay, he, he did this. He had to get to a position where he could guard both. Okay, he's splitting the defender. All I want is my hand in the passing lane. I don't want my body in the passing lane. Okay, so be in stance, see ball and man. Here we go. Good. Good. Don't back door. Nice. No back door. Good. 
Good. Good. Very nice. I didn't say stop. I just said very nice. Good job, guys. Okay. Very nice. All right. Now, there's going to be some times when, there's going to be some times when, uh, Austin, you were here on offense, right? Gage, you'd be on defense. And, no, you're on defense out there. You're on defense right there. There were some times when our player caught it. Okay? Let's make this pass. Let's make this pass. Let's make that pass. Let him have it. Let him have it. Let him have it. Good. All right, now, what are you going to do, Aaron? You're going to get off. Okay? Stop, 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 stop. Okay? You're going to get off. Okay? So that you see, and this happens a lot, pass goes, and they either watch their player they're guarding, or they watch the ball. Okay? If they get away, if they get away and see both ball and man, now you're guarding both. Okay? We need to do that. We need to do that. Here we go. Good. 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 Stand, stand, stand. Stand, stand. Good, Aaron, good. See both? Good, good. All right, stop, stop. Okay? Now, there are times in basketball when the ball goes, the ball goes, okay, and he get away, and now the ball comes back to your play. The ball comes back to your man. All right, now, this is now the toughest thing to guard in basketball. When the ball comes back to the person you're guarding to close out and be in stance. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We need one line right here. We need one line down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you're on offense right there. You're on defense first. Okay, you're going to be on defense. Believe it or not, you have the ball and you're going to be on defense. Okay, you're going to be right there. Okay, there are times in the game whether the pass comes back out here where the pass comes on the wing, that your player catches the ball and you need to get there. Okay, and this drill is, guys, this drill is called closeout. Okay, so when you're going to pick and pass the ball out there, you're going to run out and throw your hands up and get in stance. Okay, so you have to sprint. When, when this happens is that sometimes in basketball, you're helping and suddenly the ball goes back to the person you're guarding. So guys, you need to do this. Watch what you need to do. You need to sprint hard out, throw your hands up, and now get in your stance. Okay? So now what's going to happen is you're going to become the new offensive player. Okay? You're going to become the new defensive player. We're going to go right through the line. Okay? This is called closeout. You have the ball. Ball, please. Okay? You're going to toss it and go close out. Go close out and get a stance. Good. No, no dribble. You're just going to catch it and get like you're going to shoot the ball. Okay? Here we go. Come back again. Come back again. You're going to shoot it back to the next person in line. Here we go. Throw it. Okay. Close out. Good. Get in stand. Huh. Okay, now. Okay, now what happens? They come out high. The dribbler goes right by them. Okay, the most important part of this drill is, okay, when you toss it out here, guys, when you toss it out here, you're going to run as hard as you can and get down in stance. Okay, we'll see who can get in stance the quickest. All right, Sean's up. You're in the back of the line. Here we go. Sprint out. Sprint out. Stance. Good. Very nice. Next guy. Toss back. Next person. You're gonna, Sean, you're going to stay there. Here we go. Get there. Good. Very nice. Next guy. Toss it back. Here we go. Good. Very nice. Here we go. Get out there quick. Quick. Good. All right, now, if you can. You need to run out here sprinting, sprinting. And then the last, guys, the last half of the way, you're going to throw your hands up and get in the stance. Okay? So again, okay, it's sprint, stutter step, get in your stance. Okay? Quick feet. Sprint. Nice. Good. All right. Here we go. Rotate. Go get it, Aaron. Stance. Good. Now, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. See, they're saying foul. Okay, so this is why it's important. This is why it's important after you're sprinting for you to throw your hands up. Okay, stutter step and get in the stance. Okay, come again. 
Come again. Get there. Very nice. Good. Rotate. Toss it back. Toss it back. Here we go. I want, how quick can you get there? Get there, Austin. Good. Stance. Very nice. Now, when the offensive player gets the ball, I want you to take and put the ball in the shooting pocket like you're going to get ready to shoot. Okay? To the shooting pocket. Here we go. How quick can we get there? Ball's back. Here we go. Ball's back. Go. Get there. Get there. Very nice. Good. Here we go. Get there. Get there. Nice. Good. Quick feet. Bring it back. Quick feet. Very nice. Good job. Stay there. Stay there. Good. Stance. Here we go. Next guys. Next guys. Go, 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 go. Quick feet. Nice. Very nice. Rotate. Here we go. Second time through. Gauge it. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Very nice. Rotate. Good. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, that's like saying to young kids, jump stop. Okay? We don't want to play up in the, up in the air. We want to sprint, get in our stance. Again, again, again. Quick feet, quick feet. There you go, good. All right, rotate. Here we go, here we go. Last time through, be quick. Go get it, Aaron. Attack it, attack it. Good, good. Be on balance, balance. Here we go, here we go. Next, guys. Good. All right, back in your original lines. Hurry up, back in your original lines. Quick review. Fake it. Okay, right there. All right, now. And, and you might, the first practice, maybe it took you 10 minutes to do that part. First practice this age, it might have been a whole practice. Okay? Do you need to run an offense? Yes. Need to put in plays? Yes. Do you need to shoot the ball? Yes. Is half the game defense? Yes. The service that you can do by doing these things is, again, I, I don't think I can emphasize it enough. Okay? So now the second practice, you might be able to just come out, get him in the place, stance! Go, quick feet, 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 quick feet. Good job. Back over here, two lines. Two lines. Okay, now you're going to come out, spread out a little bit, facing me. Okay, no, but back up, get out there a little bit. Now, you're, you're imagine you're guarding the ball. Whatever way I go, you have to go that way. Okay? Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Quick feet. Good job. I can't get there. Quick feet. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Quick feet. Quick feet. All right, next two. Who's the next two? Come on, come on, come on. Okay? What are you guarding? Evan, what are you guarding? Good. Good. All the time guarding the ball. So again, and then pretty soon, you can get them to guard each other. Okay, so that they go offense and defense. Offense, guys, you're back over here. And we may do it, we do it with our team. We play, our court is, wait a minute. You're, no, just those two guys are out there. Our court is free throw line extended sideline. And we play one-on-one -on -one full court all the way. Okay, so right now you guys are going to do this. You're going to play. Here's your court from right here to right here. Okay? Now, you're going to take the ball to half court. Yeah, you're going to go to half court. Okay? All right. What are you guarding? Ball hard. Here we go. Good. Quick feet. Don't get your body. Space. Space. Guard the ball. Guard the ball. Okay? Oh, ho, 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 ho. which way does he want to go? Right. Take that right away. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Next two. Quick feet. Yes. Quick feet, quick feet. Oh, you got him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Did you do your job defensively? Yes. Yeah, you did. He picked it up and double dribbled. Okay. That's pretty good. You, oh, you passed it. Okay. Next two. Next two. Here we go. Quick feet. You guys are done there. Good. Don't let him get to your body. Quick 
quick feet, quick feet, guarding the ball, hold it, stop. So does that take a while? See what happens, they go back to guarding the body. So it's not, it's not gonna happen, I guarantee you, it's not gonna happen your first practice, or your second practice, or your third practice, but when it goes on, okay, you have a defender for a lifetime. Okay, I think these kids need uh, a nice round of applause. They did a great job. <laughs> quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Good job, back over here, two lines. Two lines. Okay, now you're gonna come out, spread out a little bit, facing me. Okay, now back up, get out there a little bit. Now, you're, you're imagine you're guarding the ball. Whatever way I go, you have to go that way, okay? In America, a child is born every eight seconds. A couple is married every 12 seconds. A woman is beaten by her husband every 14 seconds. Stop the violence. Imagine. 604,080 seconds. 10,080 minutes. 168 hours. Seven days. Without violence. Imagine. Every year in America, 2.5 million women are victims of violent crime. One way to live without violence is to be secure. Keep your windows and doors locked at home. Always keep your house well lit. And if you're ever driving home alone and sense you're being followed, never drive straight to your own home. Drive to a well-populated area and make noise. This is just one way you might save your own life. Did you know that one person dies from a fatal gunshot wound every 14 minutes? One way to live without violence is to be informed. Learn what community services and programs are available for anger management, sexual assault, child abuse prevention, and self-defense. Get involved with peaceful alternatives to violence. Be tolerant and respectful of others. Being informed is one way you can help save your life. In 1992, 12% of all violent crimes were committed inside a school or on school property. I'm here to tell you just one more way you can live without violence. Be aware, trust your instincts, look around you, and listen. Always walk and drive in well-traveled areas. Carry your keys at a convenient and ready-to-use position. If you must use ATM machines and phone booths at night, always do so in public, well-lit areas. Being aware may be one way you save your life. Between 1985 and 1991, the homicide rate among young men between the ages of 15 and 19 has more than doubled. One way to approach this is creatively. Devise a plan of action for personal safety. Join your Salem-Kaiser Neighborhood Association. Instead of being frustrated, get creative. Did you know that in the US, a person is shot every two minutes? You must challenge violence. You must object to violence in movies, TV, video games, and CDs. You must write to businesses that profit from violence and ask them to stop selling their products. You must challenge governments, local, state, and national, to fight drug and alcohol abuse. Write or call your congressperson and let them know how you feel. It's our responsibility to stop violence.